let's groove tonight. Ba-na-na-na. I don't know the rest of the words to that, but today it's a groovy, curvy, wavy Canva text. text. <laughs> I'm Olivia, and here is a quick Canva tip for you guys today. I don't know the rest of the words of that song, but today we are going to get groovy. I've got a couple of uh, methods for you here on curving Canva text. We're going to do a lot of stuff. Uh, as always, quick Canva tips uh, by my studio, Bold August. I do brand and web design, but let's get into it. I have four things for you today. So, you know, I like to make these short and sweet, but I also like to make them accessible. And this is not an account or a channel where I'm going to teach you how to do things willy nilly without regard for design, accessibility, and making sure it's readable and doable. Wavy curvy text is one of those things that's just because you can doesn't mean you should kind of situation. So I think sometimes for something like this, new collection, new post, it's going to be okay. It's just like a graphic. It's okay to use text as a graphic sometimes. But if you're trying to communicate something, like, you know, this really important HOA meeting is Saturday at 2, we're not we're not doing Saturday at 2. Don't put your important information in movie groovy text situations. Try to make this graphically fun because this is not easy for everyone to read, although it is fun. So let's get into it. Way number one. Way number one is that Canva actually added a whole app for this. There is an app for that. Wasn't that a thing? Wasn't that like an Apple thing? Don't sue me. It is called Typecraft. This is what you're looking for, Typecraft. You're going to click on this actually, and then they're going to ask you to put in your text. So I'm just gonna show you, let's do Saturday at, oh, it won't even let you do it. Saturday at 2 p.m. So first of all, it's not even letting me add in the colon there, probably because they're like, really? But they're gonna ask you to select, whoop, they're gonna ask you to select a font from over here. Let's see, okay, so this one does have the colon and other things, but you're gonna select your font from here. Rightfully so, not every font is able to be done in this way. <laughs> Do I think you should use this one? Absolutely not. But, you know, do what you may, do what you're going to do. It's, you know, what are we going to do? I like this, a simple font. There we go. Now let's mess with it. The thing I don't like about Tycraft is that they aren't giving you any presets, which is really bad and really annoying. They should give you presets. I hope it's in a future iteration. I hope I update this YouTube video shortly, someday. But for now, there's not. This is all I can do. I have the handles. So what I will do is click on these handles and I will use it like I do the pen tool and you can see I can completely make this unreadable, but cool, but unreadable. So my suggestion is going to be to come over to Pinterest and type in wavy text and get your inspiration that way. Otherwise, you're not going to know where to put the pivots and the rise and the fall of text, right? So I'm going to screenshot this one right here because maybe this is how I want this to be done. And I'm going to paste it in here. I'm going to move myself. You guys know how much I hate making myself smaller, but here I go. Ah. Um, so I want to recreate this. So I'm going to look at my text, look at this and say, okay, I can do it. The first one stays flat, right? So nothing on the flat. The bottom one, I'm going to curve this guy up and then I'm going to make this one go down, right? I'm going to then click add element to design. And there she is. Now I'm going to click, I'm not going to reset the shape, actually. I'm going to keep it like that. And now I'm just going to top, oop, nope, nope, ah, nope, 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 nope. It's too late. Now I'm going to grab the top handle, no, the top one, the top one, the top handle and make that one larger. And then take this one and make it curvier. So I've already messed up, I think, but you're going to have to eyeball this, which is why I, I just don't recommend it. I'm showing it to you. Oh, and then it updated element instead of placing. Okay, here we go. I'm learning this with you guys at the same time. Okay, so update element. That gives me that. We're going to do another one. We're going to have to start all over again, which is really annoying. Saturday at 2 p.m. Okay, so now oh, I've got to find the font again, too. That's rough. Again, this is a new app, so it's probably going to have to take a minute. And I liked e-techno glitch simple. Okay, starting again, bottom, go.
goes up. This one goes wavy. Add element to design. This is a lot of effort just for this. So it looks like I didn't curve this up enough. Well, that's kind of, oh, again, I did the wrong thing. S straight. Curve this one up a little bit more. Update element. Update. Yeah, that curved a little bit more. Okay, cool. All right, I'm feeling it. Now let's do it all over again one more time. We're going to do Saturday at 2 p.m. We're going to come over here. And don't worry, I'm going to show you more options. If you're like, Olivia, I'm never going to do this. I'm never going to do this. So I've got more options for you. Trust me. Now we're going to keep the bottom straight and the top one is going to go whoop, and then this guy is going to go underneath. Add element to design. Okay, I did it. I recreated, well, yeah. I think I'm going to make the top just go a little bit higher. Update element. Okay, okay, yeah. All right, I did it. I did it. I made wavy text to duplicate, to mimic. I, I think it's cool. Do I think that this is the best way to tell people something? No, but if, if yeah, it's got a cool vibe to it. And it wasn't that hard to create. It has a little bit of a style to it. Looks like all of these are still saved over here. So if I wanted to try a different font, I could scroll down and do this one, update element, getaway one, two, three. So there's that with all of those changed. I think that's even harder to read. The thing that I'm seeing is tur, and then the two kind of looks like, uh, it just doesn't quite look right. The contrast isn't there. So use it for design, maybe don't use it for everything. Number two, the curved text, obviously just curve your text. So I love curved text as, uh, I'm gonna do just that. And then I'm gonna come over here to effects and curve. You guys know and love the curve tool, but let's use it to make wavy text, right? So I'm gonna put this one at 18, cause I like it. And then I'm going to duplicate using my alt, alt and shift, right? And then I'm just gonna come over here and add a negative sign. Negative, negative 18. That way I know that my curve is correct. And this is how you make much easier, much faster. Like that took me 15 seconds versus the, what, seven minutes it took to do this one. This is gonna make this kind of curve text, which I think is much easier. Um, I love curve text for visual graphics. You might have to do some dragging to kind of get it like that. That looks great. Once again, I wouldn't hide your important information here. That uh, This isn't to where you say that the meeting is at two or, oh, my sale only lasts until Friday. That's just not where things need to go. People aren't going to get it. Put your important information as the most accessible piece in your design. But this makes for a really cool um, design aesthetic for this sort of thing. Like this starts to look really neat. Check it out. I'll probably use this as the the thumbnail. Nice. So that is number two. Just use straightforward curved text. Now, of course, this is going to look better with some fonts than others. This is called Horizon. I also always recommend Montserrat, Canvas Sans, Anton, and of course, it's going to change how this looks. You don't always use 18, the curved, this, uh, this number right here. It's blank because it's negative 18 and 18, and it can't show me two at a time. Um, but it's just not going to look good with every single type of like this is gonna look horrendous. Like don't do this. Just don't 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 do that. I'm gonna go back to the other one because it's gorgeous. How fun is that? It's so cool. I love it. Awesome. All right. Number three is you can just find it if you want a cool hip vibe. Canva's got you. Of course it does. Come over here to elements and just type in wavy text. Like if you just want something just for the vibe of it all. Like there's groovy stuff, there's groovy letters, there's some, there's all the months if you just want a groovy thing. I stumbled across this one, which I think is really cool. I don't know why it just says congratulations instead of congratulations, but then if you click magic recommendations, look at all this. Oh my gosh, there's so much. And don't forget if you click on any of these and then click on the little info button, you can click see more like this and it will fill your sidebar with see more like this. So now you've got this kind of cool welcome. You could very easily add this to your brand elements just by coming up here again to the info and clicking add to a folder. 
you can add your elements to a folder. Don't forget, you can keep them. Folders, that's how you stay organized, is folders. But there's a lot of really cool, well, I hate all these little bubbly guys, but there's some interesting things in here if you just really feel like you want to use this for artistic purposes. There's a one, two, three, four, that's kind of cool for five, looks like you can change them to your color palette. Once again, I think these are really cool and really rad, and I might even use something like this welcome, but I would never use it to hide important text. The fourth one, don't don't come at me for the with the pitchforks. I know. You're not gonna like this. And I understand that. But you can use a font. <laughs> you can support and use a font. I actually didn't even check Canva, so let's type in wavy text and see if there's any sort of wavy. I don't see one, but then also, well, wait, I just did that wrong. Wavy text. You need to click on this and do a font. Wavy? Is there a wavy? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know if there's one of those. However, there's tons on Creative Market. Fonts are not that expensive. I know they get a bad rap because maybe in the olden days, if you went to school, you saw like Proxima Nova is like $200. Eh, not in today's day and age. In fact, one that I really like is called Chillmore. I have already purchased it before and I also have like a subscription to Creative Market, so it's $9 for me. But $12, 12, 12 buccaronis. And I'm gonna show you how to actually upload this font so that you can actually use it. So over here under font, I don't know if it's gonna let me do it from here actually. Will it? Edit, uploaded fonts, edit. Up, oh yeah, it will. Okay, so over here on the left with um, your brand, you can click edit. And then you can come over here to fonts, click add new, upload a font. So I already have this one. It's called Chill More. Chill More. And my computer, for some reason, hates looking at my font folder. So I always have to come over here and find it, which is, see, there it is. I, I don't know why it didn't see it, but here we are. Chill More. I use the OTF, the open type, for no reason. And then you did have to say that you did purchase that font. You kind of legally agreed just there. I should have taken a beat on it and I didn't. Um, there it is. Chill more regular. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I always refresh when I do something. Uh, always refresh. You know what I mean? Come over here and then, okay, I know I uploaded you. Uploaded fonts. There she is. Chill more. And this is cool. Hello, sale. Yeah. For some reason, I keep duplicating. You'll just notice that with these two, the wavy stuff just looks better duplicated because it's really showing off the wave, right? It's showing off the style. It's kind of fun. One other thing I will show you is that over here on text, you can click on, um, you can see recently used because I always practice these videos before I do them. I don't practice the jokes. Those are always live, but I do practice the tips to make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, you're gonna see that some of these curvy things are already ready to go. And it's like, wait, is this the text effect? No, it's literally over here on effects. You can ungroup this and then see that they've just used the curve. It's just a preset, right? There's a couple others in here. No, I don't want recently used. Oh yeah, there's a couple others in here. Um, that one's like at a nice tilt, which I think is nice. There's some really interesting presets in here that I think are actually kind of great. This feeling fancy one looks nice. I like this like techie effect, which I think it's just, yeah, the glitch, the glitch effect. They're just showing you how they would do it. Also, if you're still here watching, it's kind of nice sometimes to have these preset, like this is so good for a table of contents. You don't have to sit there and type that all out just click it and then there you go it's already kind of all preset for you same thing looks like they have some like letterhead graphic-y stuff so don't discount the the pre the preset stuff all righty so that's curved text i'm sorry i don't have a better i didn't do it i didn't design canva but i'm sorry that this doesn't feel as exciting I think it's coming. I think Typecraft has has brought us to that point where it feels like we can we're getting closer, but we need preset items to be able to 
really get there. And also I will say this every time, I want Canva to stay lightweight. I want it to feel like a lightweight browser uh, and I want it to stay as cheap as it is right now. Um, you know, for Adobe Illustrator, it would be quadruple the cost. So I'm grateful that Canva is simple and streamlined. I don't need it to be like Adobe Illustrator or my other design tools. That's all I'll say about that. Let me know in the comments which of these wavy things, uh, wavy curved text that you like. I'm also going to put a link to this font in the uh, show notes. It will be an affiliate link, um, but I'm going to put a link here for that. And let me know which one you use and let me know what quick Canva tip you'd like next time. Thanks, guys.